Lyft's new massive update now shows drivers how much they're gonna be paid before a ride is even accepted. It sounds like a huge win for all drivers, but there's a dark side to the update that I'm gonna tell you about. Up until the new upfront pay update, a driver's pay was determined by a base rate, a per mile rate, and a per minute rate. And though it varied from city to city, drivers who knew their rates could estimate how much a ride would be just by having that information. Instead, when you get a ride request, you'll see all the details up front, including the amount you'll earn, the pickup and the drop-off locations, the expected time and distance to complete the ride, and you'll even get a map of the full ride. Okay, but what about tips and bonus streaks and things like that? According to Lyft, these will all be calculated at the end of the ride in addition to the upfront earnings. Before we dive into how upfront pay is actually calculated, it would make me really happy if you were to hit the subscribe button to my channel. We're so close to 2,000 subscribers and I would like for you to help me get there. The upfront pay is calculated using four factors. The estimated time that the ride will take, the estimated distance to complete the ride, your travel time to the pickup location, and the volume of the ride request for that area. If there's ever a ride that has a bonus on it, it will also be included in your upfront earnings. Upfront pay isn't available for all ride types. It's available for all standard lift and delivery rides, but not for Lux, Black, XL, or scheduled rides that you pre-accepted even if those rides are standard lift rides. In my experience, not every ride will show you the upfront earnings. This feature is based on the pickup location, so it may not be available everywhere, even if it's within the same city. The new lift update is both a win and a loss for drivers. Knowing how much money you'll make before accepting a ride is a very wonderful thing, but it comes at the cost of not knowing how that pay is calculated. Another negative of the new upfront update is that in between the time it takes to accept a ride and complete a ride, traffic conditions can change, which might cause you to lose out on money for the difference in spread. Lyft did say that in situations like that, they will reevaluate the pricing, but without knowing the actual breakdown of how pay is calculated, we have to put our faith in Lyft to get it right, which isn't always the case. Overall, I do think that this is better than having to rely on the rate card. Upfront earnings is just one of the many promises that Lyft has made to us drivers. Lyft promises that they would make driving a smoother experience by redesigning the driver app and improving safety for drivers. Lyft has also promised us that bonus will go further with the new bonus zones, that we would also have the ability to pause ride streaks, and that we would be allowed to make money off of referring old drivers. So if this update makes you want to start driving again, you'll get a bonus and I'll get a bonus if you use my link below. And if that's not enough to convince you to drive for Lyft, Lyft has also given us better rewards like getting cash back when you buy gas and destination mode, which allows you to pick up a passenger along a certain route, like going home, for example. So while I'm not sure if I'll end up making more or less money with this new payment system. I'm definitely going to test it out for you guys. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, it probably won't be my next video, but I will be doing a video about how much money I make between the 1st of July and the 4th of July now that I have access to the new upfront pay. But until then, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. Peace.